Hosting on Gigster starts with creating a listing. To get started, sign up by clicking on the Sign Up button in the top right corner of the Gigster homepage, and when logged in, click on the profile picture in the top right corner, and then hit Become a Host. On the page that will open up, click List Your Space. On the next step, you will be prompted to fill out the address of your location. Once you've filled it out, click Next. Your location will be shown on the map based on the address you've entered. If you think the pin needs to be moved to a more accurate position, feel free to do so by clicking Adjust, and then dragging the map under the pin until it's set in the correct position. On search, the position of your location will be shown with a one mile radius approximation to protect your privacy. Next, you'll be prompted to choose the type of your location. If you're unsure about the type of your property, please feel free to reach out to our support team and we'll help you with that. On the next page, you are prompted to indicate the types of activities you'd like to accommodate. Just put a check mark next to those you're interested in hosting. You are also required to put in the maximum number of people you can accommodate in the listed space. Then, you will be required to add more information on the size and structure of your location. Since the parking situation is very important to clients, be sure to add information on the current parking and accessibility of your space. Don't forget to indicate the amenities your location offers so that the renters know what to expect. Okay, we're done with the first step. Now let's move on to the next step, where you'll learn how to upload photos, add a description to the listing, as well as give it a title. Geekster supports full text search, allowing renters to search by style, name, area, as well as features and types. That's why it's essential to select all the features your property has to make sure your location is found and set the right expectations for the renter. Make sure to mention anything unique that stands out about your listing in your description or title. On the next step, you will be able to add the photos to your gallery that would showcase your space. You don't have to be a professional photographer for this task and can just take high quality photos with your smartphone. Try to capture the best and most interesting angles of your space and highlight unique details that might be attractive to clients. Photographing the location in various lighting is also a great idea. You can add the photos by dragging and dropping them onto the specified area or uploading them from your device. Please note that the photos should be at least 1200 pixels in width. You can go back to this section anytime to add more photos or update your gallery. For now, let's click finish to proceed to the last but very important step, setting up your pricing and calendar as well as the location rules. Setting transparent and detailed location rules gives the renter a clear idea of the boundaries and do's and don'ts of your space, as well as allows to prevent potential conflicts and claims. So, be sure to carefully check the suggested restrictions and feel free to add custom location rules if you have any. Next step, your calendar. Your calendar settings give you full control over when your space is available for bookings. An up-to-date calendar also helps you avoid canceling a booking, an action that can lead to unpleasant experience for your client. The dates that have already been booked on Gigster will automatically be blocked and appear grayed out. If you wish to manually block unavailable dates, you can do so by choosing the date or dates on the calendar and then clicking Blocked under the Availability section above. If the date frees up later on, you can just click on it and then click Available to unblock it. On the calendar, days with approved bookings will appear in green, days that have incoming requests that haven't been approved yet in blue, and dates and times booked on other platforms in purple. You can sync your calendar with any calendar in iCal format to keep it up to date across all the apps that you're using for hosting. This feature is covered in more detail in our FAQ articles. Now let's get to setting up pricing for your listing. In this section, you can set the minimum amount of hours that you are ready to rent out your space for in a day. Set up the price currency for international hosts, as well as set your hourly price. The pricing for your location can be flexible, depending on the type of production or event and renter specific needs. You can slightly adjust your pricing and send the renter a custom rate. Please note that Gigster takes a 15% commission on every booking, so make sure to take that into consideration when setting up your prices. Your pricing will most likely vary based on the number of attendees. For your convenience, automatic pricing for different tiers is switched on by default. 
You can turn it off if you wish to set up pricing by yourself. On the next page, you will be asked to provide and verify your phone number. We will be notifying you of incoming inquiries and messages from clients via text and might also need to contact you in case of an emergency. So keeping a valid phone number up to date is extremely important. You will be sent a verification code that you'll need to enter. Once you've successfully verified your phone number, click finish. Your listing will be submitted for our internal review and if everything looks good, we will publish your listing within a couple of days and send you a confirmation email. And if any adjustments are required, we'll be sure to email you and provide you the guidance you may need.